YouTube tonight, this is your man TiVo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box and a long, long overdue comic call. First, what you're seeing in front of you is a gigantic uh, canvas print from my man uh, Win over at Mkara Tattoo in Philadelphia. He hooked me up with that. Absolutely gorgeous. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to get this uh, as a back piece. Yep, I'm going to get this entire thing on my back just so you can get an idea of how big it is. Here's that comic book. This thing is huge. I'm gonna throw it on my back and it's gonna hurt. But I always wanted a back piece. It's been a minute. So I thought it'd be a cool background. Not my usual uh, setting for a comic call, but it is hot as hell upstairs in my office where I normally do this. Hopefully my dog won't cough in the background. Poor old Vader's got a bad case of, case of bronchitis, man. So. Let's get right to it, boys and girls. This is stuff I picked up over the last two, three, four, five, six months. I don't even keep track anymore. Hold on. All right. Um, so these are just some random stuff I picked up uh, over the last few months. Um, you can see right there how dope that is. Anyway, um, shout out to 36 Chambers Tattoo. He knows my man, Umkara Tattoo. Uh, Umkara Tattoo is also the cat that you guys helped out uh, when about... Three, four years ago, we did a uh, raffle and all the proceeds went to an orphanage in Vietnam. And that's my man. Uh, my man matched it. I'm Kyra Tattoo in Philadelphia. He matched us. So we donated $3,000 to help an orphanage in Vietnam. And just a part of the combo community and the tattoo community getting together to help out a good cause, man. So, uh, yeah, peep him out. If you're in the Philly area, hit up I'm Kyra Tattoo. He does dope black and gray tattoos, man. Um, this is, I picked, I've been picking these up, man. Um, and, uh, the reason why is I think this will be a hot issue. I meant, I'm not talking about Spider-Man volume two. I'm talking about the first series. Cause this is the first time Miles Morales met Peter Parker, the 616 version of Peter Parker. Um, and what's interesting is on, by the way, always use painter's tape. So that way you can easily pull it out, pull it back in. That's what she said. <laughs> um, so it's always curious of what the market decides is the first meeting. So as you can tell, the last panel of the book just has them two meeting. Uh, and so that's a very brief appearance. I, I don't even know if there's such a thing as a cameo first meeting, but you know, I got number one just to be safe, but more importantly, I got number two because number two is more of a true meeting of the two you can see after a first few pages there you actually see them getting together so hey you who are you who are you who are you and then they finally figure out it's miles morales of his universe the ultimate universe meeting 616 peter parker um i got these for a buck each at my lcs uh they just they were all over the place so i just snatched them all up to be honest with you i got more than this but i'm just going to show you the ones that i have here this is number two. And I knew it was going to happen. Sorry, guys. On oh, my damn coffee table, this stand sucks. Um, but it's good lighting. So more importantly is the lighting, right? So you can see it. Um, yeah, so that's Spider-Man Volume 1, 
Number two, and I've been kind of going on this kick of first meetings. So I went on eBay um, and I got the variants for them too. Funny story, man. I think I told the story on uh, one of our live shows. Uh, this is the second print variants for, um, for number one and number two. And you notice really the only difference is they have masks on, on the second print. Uh, so wait, that's for, so that's number two. You see, same thing, except for they don't have their masks on. Masks. Uh, and then this is the second print variant for uh, issue number one. Mask, no mask. So remember, the uh, variants don't have masks. So I got one and two. Uh, what's cool is um, I bought these off eBay. And uh, the buyer, I, 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 I win it. I send him my money, um, and then he sends me a message. He goes, hey, man, you that guy from YouTube that plays the freestyle music in his videos? I go, yeah, man, it's Lords of the Lombards. He goes, oh, man, love Lords of the Lombards. I'm going to send you a cool uh, extra. So he threw this in for free. So uh, shout out to Sick One Comics, S-I-C-E, One Comics on Instagram. Uh, this is dope. I think it's a Mark Brooks cover, Secret Empire number seven. But, you know, that's cool, you know. Uh, luckily, he likes the channel and didn't charge me extra. <laughs> um I also got this, and this one actually I was talking about on our show, and it popped up on our uh, on our top ten list, and it was Spider Man. This is the second edition, um, and the reason why I wanted this. Let me get the camera closer, y'all. Dealing with glare, man. You always gotta adjust. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, the reason I got this is because this is a Micah Turner variant. And this is Spider-Man. This is the, I call it Volume 2, but it's really the sequel. So they call it Spider-Man 2. And this is a Michael Turner variant, as you can see right there. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is the first appearance of Evil Miles Morales. But I didn't really care about the Evil Miles. I don't think Evil Miles Morales is coming. But for some reason, people were specking on it. So I got that. And then I was talking about how I wanted it so bad. My man, Dollar Bin Fodder, sent me one for free, man. So... Shout out to the community. You guys are awesome, man. Uh, I don't call you guys IG Comic Family. I got you guys IG Comic Lords because that's what you guys are. You guys are all lords of your own long box. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So got two of those bad boys. And I got this off of an eBay auction. Or not an eBay auction, excuse me. A, um, um, a YouTube auction. And I apologize. I forgot who I got it from. It's been so long. Uh, but it was either the, the Thorough or NY Warriors or one of the other ones. There seems to be one every day, but I got this. I've never, this book, for some reason, always has an issue uh, with the spine. And this one is super clean. I'm going to be careful as I pull this out of this crazy ass bag it's in. Um, it's got that hard plexiglass shit in here. Look how clean that is. Just a little bit. Normally, all the ones that I've seen, they always were off center on the spine, but this one is pretty damn clean, man. So uh, the one copies I have don't nearly have that perfect spine, all black cover. Uh, I think I'm gonna slab this bad boy. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, man. And you know, all Wolverine books are hot. So as I was saying, I've been specking. Everybody buys new stuff and. First appearances, first issues. Well, I've been on this kick that I think eventually all these characters are going to meet up. And my spec is start picking up their first time they met in the comics. This one I've been talking about for a while. This is, um, the camera seems to be off center. Anyway, you guys will deal with it, even if it's crooked. <laughs> this, believe it or not, Supervillain Team Up, number 14, is the first ever meeting of Magneto and Dr. Doom. Who would have thunk that? Like in, I want to say this came out in like the late 60s, early 70s. That's John Byrne and Terry Austin cover, by the way. This is the first time Doom and Magneto met up. They are going to eventually meet up at the MCU. So I think this is a great, great book to have, man. And it's slept on too. Not many, I meant, how many people have it? You know what I mean? And I got this from my LCS, Comic Tunes and Toys in Tustin, California. Speaking of which, uh, Monday, guys, Monday, June 29th, we're doing another live claim sale for Comics, Tunes, and Toys. This is gorgeous. This is a Marvel preview. Which number is this? Number eight features the Legion of the Monsters with Blade and Morbius cover. So I still think that is 
pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, so Monday, June 29th at 6 p.m., we're going to be doing a live claim sale. And we're going to be um, doing some auctions as well. We got a, uh, I think Big To Do has like 30, 40 slabs. So hopefully we'll get through them all. Uh, I've been picking this book up any chance I get to. There's been more and more chatter about Silver Sable as something that was going to made. I think it's just a matter of time, man. So get these books now where they're cheap. Amazing Spider-Man 265, first appearance of the aforementioned Silver Sable. I got this, another copy of this as well for my LCS. This is the, I basically tell him anytime he gets horror books to just set them aside. Got to deal with the glare real time, y'all, especially when it's in my law. Um, this is first appearance of Jennifer Kale, one time member of the Midnight Suns. Uh, rumored to have some type of affiliation in the upcoming Supernatural stuff. She's a player in the world of man, not only Man Thing, but the Midnight Suns and everything. These adventures into fear is a great little run right there. Speaking of which, I also got this. And I'm forgetting why I got this, but I know it's a key issue. It's a minor character, but I can't remember. Somebody in the comment section below, Werewolf by Night number 10, tell me what the first, hold on, let me think, let me think. Damn it, I can't think of it, and I'm on my phone, so I can't look it up, but <laughs> I was looking for it, so there has to be a reason why, right? I meant, um, and speaking of the Midnight Suns, this is Ghost Rider number 28, the first appearance of the aforementioned Midnight Suns, as well as the caretaker who's gonna be in Hellstrom. Um, yeah, I got like a few of these, so you know what? I got them for five bucks each, so can't beat that. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's still inside the poly bag. I should probably take them out of the poly bag. That's what these weird lines are for on there. That's supposed to be a hell flame. Um, uh, but that's actually uh the poly bag that they're inside of. So I should probably remove them out of the poly bags. Speaking of first parents, let's go with uh Excalibur number. 86, the first appearance of Pete Wisdom. That's another book that we spec'd a while ago that you can still, believe it or not, man, I cannot find this book anywhere I go. Uh, I was able to find one on eBay for cheap, but man, when I go to LCS or show, I, for some reason this book doesn't exist, you know, or people are buying it up. Speaking of first appearances, got these for uh, five bucks each too. First appearance of Angela, spawn number nine. I could probably do these from Multiple Comic Monday, too. Believe it or not, I have more than these five. All right, we're getting through it, boys and girls. Um, so this video has been so long for coming. Um, that I forgot to show these. Dude, I have a ton of these. I got these for a buck each in my LCS, man. Before, right when the news came out, I was like, yo, give me those young bloods too. Uh, when the profit news dropped. Uh, so this is First Appearance of Profit. That's the pink one. That's the green one. More green ones. Do I have another pink one? I think I do. They're somewhere. They're all over the place. Let's go. This is a recent purchase. Off of Man the Butcher 105. Strange Tales number 138. The first appearance of Eternity, man. This is a dope book. Super clean. Great deal. Uh, the Butcher 105 was on Very Gary's uh, live auction. And nobody was bidding on that. I got this for like 35, 40 bucks, man. And it's at least a 6.5, 7.0. Gorgeous, gorgeous copy. Shout out to The Butcher 105. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, another shout out. This goes out to my man, um, Kicksided Comics in Canada. I was cr complaining like a baby that I didn't get a chance to get the Strange Academy Peach Momoko variant. And uh, he mailed it to me for free, man. I just paid for shipping costs from Canada. Another great, you know, member of the comic book family, or excuse me, the IG Comic Lords. He gave it to me for free, man. So shout out to Kickside Comics, Dollar Bin Fodder, and Sick One Comics for just hooking us up because they're part of the IG Comic Lords, man. Also, this is a book I don't know if you guys have heard about yet, but I heard there's some stuff happening with it. Um, <laughs> this is uh, first full appearance of Punchline. You're the villain. Hell Arisen, number three. Yes, the punchline hype. Yes, I know, I got it. I just sent out three more copies to CGC, so hopefully they come back as nine-eighths. 
Man, I got stuff all over the place, son. Hmm. I think I'm forgetting some books, but I'll get to those in a second. Um, I got this one the other day. I think this was two weeks ago. It's been so long, I done forgot, y'all. This is the Bitterroot variant. This is the Purple Rain Homage. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the only Joker book I got, believe it or not. The Joker 80th anniversary. This is, I think it's Delato or Matina. I always confuse the two. It's one of them, but it's dope. I like this one. This is a $10 book. Jesus Christ, that's crazy, son. Um, I want to show some more of these, but I forgot to, man. And uh, shout out to my man, Roman Curtis. I bought a lot of, um, damn it, where are they? I'll have to show it on the next video, man. Um, but I bought a bunch of these Doctor Strange books that he had that were, uh, boom, Mark Jeweler inserts, man. So not the greatest condition, but still rare to find the Mark Jeweler's inserts. And I'm a big fan of those. So shout out to Roman Curtis. Jeez, I, I must have bought those like, I bought it so long ago from him that I just bought another lot from him that's, <laughs> that's supposed to be in the mail. Um, and this is probably the sloppiest, most disorganized uh, haul video I've ever done. And I don't even remember if I showed this one yet. But, just in case I haven't, I got this from my man Swolverine on Instagram. This is, of course, Avengers number eight, the first appearance of Kang and a beautiful 7.0 off-white pages. And that's it, man. I Believe it or not, there are some books I forgot to show because, oh, you know what? I'm stupid, man. They're right behind me. Well, so much for saving the best for last. I was going to save that one for last, but <laughs> I got books all over the place. This is, this is getting kind of comical, actually. Um, I got this from a man, P. Dots Comics. Uh, one of his IG sales. This is a uh, early Strange Tales. This is Strange Tales 127. Gorgeous, gorgeous cover. You know, the Doctor Strange action right there. So I add to complete my Strange Tales run. Here they are. As I. These are the other Mark Jeweler inserts that I got from uh, my man Roman Curtis. So it's a uh, Marvel premiere number 22. Marvel Premiere number 13 and Marvel Premiere number 39, all Mark Jewelers inserts, which is pretty darn cool. And, um, yeah, oh yeah, here's the other ones. I told you I had more pink ones. There it goes. So I got like 10 of these, by the way. So I'm ready. Come on, profit. Make me a profit. Okay. Oh, here's some modern books, man. I forgot what this was already, but I bought it anyway. This is, came out a couple weeks ago. This is the version variant. This is the, um, I forgot what it's called. Ball and it's some indie comic, but I got it because of the Neil Adams homage cover to Superman. So I picked up two of them. This is the version variant, by the way, no logo. Here's a modern spec for you. I got this because this is the first appearance of the new Captain Britain Corps. Basically, the... The uh, team members that were already in like the previous issues, like I think it's Kitty Pride, Gambit, and some kid, um, and Psylocke, they end up forming the, here, just pop open the back of it so you can see it. They end up forming the new Captain Britain Corps right there. So you, oh, it's Gambit, Jubilee, uh, Psylocke, and uh, Rogue form the new Captain Britain Corps, which I think is pretty darn cool, man. There you see it. They grab this kind of weird amulet, and then they go on, and they become the Captain Britain Corps, man. Very, very cool. And so I got three of those. And one last one, modern book kind of spec, is the, uh, I want to say the first cameo of Black Cat, Iron Cat, whatever the hell she is. She appears on the last page of this book, so I would imagine Black Cat 12 would be the first full appearance, but it's, she basically has Stark armor, so she becomes, can we say Iron Cat? I don't know. Maybe? Who cares? All right, that's it, boys and girls. That's my story. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, I will see you Monday at 6 p.m., man. 
Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific for the next uh, live claim sale for Comic Tunes and Toys in Tustin, California. We'll be going live on YouTube. Um, yeah, and that's it, man. So uh, we'll see you then. I'm probably not going to do anything over the weekend. This video will probably post either Friday night or Saturday, depending on how much time. I'm not going to do much editing, as you can tell. It's just a mess all over the place. It's just, just books all over the place my dining table. It's just too hot up in my office. So I will see you guys Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific for the next Comic Tunes and Toys live claim sale. <sighs> and that's it. Sorry for the... Uh, this is a one take. I'm not doing it again. Sorry for the kind of mass stressful confusion. That's the way comic collecting is. Sometimes you just throw some books together and boom, there it is. So see you on s Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific for the next Comic Tunes and Toys live claim sale. Until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.